So let me tell you about the five actions to take right now to upgrade your success with listings. What we have on time. Okay. So we'll go about another 10 minutes and then we're going to, are we going to do a break or something like, or I guess they haven't eaten yet. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to spend about 10 minutes, Elizabeth, <laughs> on this because the first one was supposed to be 20 minutes, right? But um, I got a slower group today, so I'm going. <laughs> so, hey, I'm not, y'all told me to bring, y'all told me to bring the, uh, okay. Um, anyway, I love you guys and I want you to be successful. Do you know what, what creates success in your life? There, huh? Action. Action. Yeah. What else? Attitude. Attitude. Yeah. And by the way, when we talk about action, it's time on the task over time. That's the repeated action. Repeated action. Boom. Boom. I do it every day. That's called discipline. Okay. There's two things that without, without these two things, you guys will never succeed at the level that you could. I'm talking about your ultimate greatness, not just what you settle for in this, in this round your ultimate greatness. There's two things. Number one, discipline. Discipline. And that's really, ac action is, a, is, is something that comes from discipline. It's doing the right things over and over and getting that right result, okay? Doing the right things in the right order. Discipline. The second thing, because a lot of agents lack discipline. They're, well, I, try, I started lead generating and then I got off. By the way, when you get off the train from lead gen, you know how long it takes for that trajectory of your business to go back to where it was? 90 days. 90 days. So if you take two or three weeks from the routine and, and it gets too out of kilter, it takes about 90 days to get that curve back and to where you're back on the easy street again. 90 days. And when you stop doing it and you start and you stop, that's called dieting. Okay? The way, like, like for example, the way I choose to uh, years ago, I'm just going to mention this about myself. Years ago, I was on cheeseburgers and pizza, and that was just every day, okay? My, my wife and I have lost 100 pounds between the two of us, and the reason why, I didn't care. I've got a small frame. I can carry a lot without, people, without getting too over, overhand, um, but, the, but my coach told me, he says, what do you see your, where do you see yourself in five to ten years? And then he asked me, do you have the health to get you there? And for me, it was like, I'm healthy, I'm not on any medications, but guess what? I eat crappy, right? So when I started making, when I started using discipline in the way I eat, not all the, all the time, I was in Green, Texas this weekend, boy, I, I had some onion rings, a couple of beers, oh yeah, Uncle Nolly knows how to do it, right? But not all the time, you see what I'm saying? So consistently, right, I'm doing a certain activity to where I can maintain my girlish figure. Does that make sense? Y'all get that? So, so it's discipline, number one. Number two, accountability. Most realtors that I know lack accountability. When I was eight months in the business, I was paying my coach $1,000 a month to coach me, and my goal was to do 40 deals a year. You know what she told me? Nolly, why wouldn't you do 100? I said, what? Julie Harris. I said, she said, why, why wouldn't you do, why wouldn't you, uh, do 100? I said, 100? Mike Ferry coach back in the day. She's with EXP now. Um, I said, that's crazy. She said, Nolly, I guarantee you this. If you will agree to do 100 deals a year or more, you'll work less than if you do 40. And this is, this is my first year in the business, guys. Okay? I hired accountability. And that's how I got. I would have never, never gotten to 100 deals a year on my own. Y'all think I'm just naturally accountable? No, I don't want to do anything either. I'm, I procrastinate just like you guys do. But when you have some accountability, it helps. Make sense, right? If you have discipline and accountability, you're on fire. That wasn't in the uh, seminar, by the way. That's just a bonus. So five actions. Let's get to it. Number one, you've got to shift your mindset. You have to start thinking differently. If you want something in your life to change, or you want things in your life to change, you've got to change things in your life. Who's that? Jim Rohn, okay? Mindset is so important. There is a, uh, we call it the quantum field. In 1921, Albert Einstein won the Nobel Prize for his work in quantum uh, physics, quantum theory, if you will. 99.999999 uh, and all the way out, percent of the known universe is made of what we call dark matter. 
I don't like that term, but it's just empty space. It's emptiness. It's unseen. So there's very little, like, physical matter is less than 0, 0, 0, 0, what, what percent, okay, of physical. With all the billions of galaxies, the physical matter is the minority. And the non-physical matter, the spirit realm, the, the inner energetic realm, that's the reality. That's where reality lives. And when you reprogram your mind and you start thinking differently, you automatically attract different results. Uh, two books I'm going to uh, recommend on this is, number one, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And that is by Dr. Joseph Murphy. Dr. Joseph Murphy, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It's on Audible. You gotta, you, if you want to get on the track to rewiring the way you think, because the way you think is a product of the way you were raised and a lot of other variables, okay? And most of it is wrong. I spent the last six years of my life unlearning, okay? And I'm the guy that, re when I was in fifth grade, don't ask me about the other subjects because <laughs> they were bad, but when I was in fifth grade, I was reading on a sophomore college level, reading. Okay? I still read a book a week to this day, but I had to unlearn most of what I had learned. Okay? So that's the first book. The other one is Letting Go by Dr. David Hawkins. That's more of an emotional book. Did y'all know you have f uh, four bodies? Everybody know that? You have four bodies. So you have a physical body, an emotional body, a spiritual body, and a mental body. Okay? You got to take care of all those bodies. By the way, the, the Homo sapiens species has three brains. Scientifically proven, okay? Uh, Dr. Childers did 40 plus years of research and discovered that the, the, the heart has its own intelligence. Okay, innate intelligence. The heart math method is a book that he wrote with 40 years of research. Many, many scientists have researched this, okay? The, the gut, you guys already know this, you've, you've seen the studies on it. The gut has its own brain and 90% of the serotonin that you, that you have is created by the gut. Okay? And it has about the intelligence of a canine, about the intelligence of a dog. Anybody ever had a dog or have one? They're pretty smart. That's your gut. Okay? And then you have a brain up here. Okay? Men actually have four brains, but we don't, we're not going to talk about that today. All right, so you've got to shift the way you think, and you've got to get into a different uh, energetic consciousness. Number, number two, you've got to do the two. Okay? Do the two. <laughs> Um, and here's what that is. You have to lead, lead generate two hours a day, four days a week. We call it a two by four. As a coach, I would always teach my students to do four hours of lead generation a day, five days a week, all that. Nobody would do it. This I found is a, is a sweet spot. People actually can do it from nine to 11 every single day. You time block, you go into your lead generation bunker, okay? And you lead generate, okay? It's, it's a two by four. If you do this, if you commit to doing this, I guarantee you, you will not lack for a great listing inventory and a quarter million a year minimum. Minimum, okay? Um, number three, well, this is do the two. If you want the result, just do the two, okay? Simple. Uh, number three, you've got to focus on listings. I mean, consciously and subconsciously, you're focused on listings. Did you know that I've never marketed for a buyer? I've never marketed for a buyer ever. Now I'm not saying, I'm not teaching right or wrong, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a buyer agent. Somebody gotta sell our listings, okay? Somebody's gotta, gotta be out there hustling, all right? But what I'm telling you is, um, if, if you choose, like every marketing piece that I ever put out, and I did spend money on marketing, but it was thinking about selling your house. That was always the messaging. What could your house be worth in today's hot market? Most people don't even know. Okay, I, I talked to a guy last week, we're about to list his house, and he has a rental. He had no idea, neither did I, <laughs> that his house, because I sold a lot of houses in that neighborhood, I would have guessed that 450 was a number. And he'd be coming out with a, like a fat cat at 450. 600, <laughs> that's what they're going for, 600, on the east side of town, okay? So I'm, I'm telling you guys, new things are, are happening. New things are going on here. So you guys see it every day, but focus on listings. And when you do, everything you think about is listings. I used to have a Monopoly set and actually went on eBay years ago. Is my 10 minutes up? It is up, isn't it? 
yeah. So I, I had this Monopoly set, and I had a visual. My mom came, she's like, boy, what is that? She came vi to visit us one time. And it was like, I, I wanted to do 100 deals, so I had all the houses lined up on the table, and every time I sold one, I'd move it over. Closed it. Not escrow or listed, nothing. Just close it, right? By the way, I, now I track appointments. Appointments is the, is the number one thing to track. To track. It's like, how many closings do you have? Don't matter. You gotta have appointments to have closings, right? right? So uh, anyway, number three, focus on listings always. Uh, become listing based is what I should say. Number four, become famous. I have a whole chapter in my book on this so I won't belabor it. But many of you, um, either you're not comfortable with yourself, I don't know what it is, but you, you're, you're afraid to let people know who you are. Secret agent. You wanna be a secret agent, exactly. You're hiding from your potential clients. And you're making it very difficult for them to find you. Your social media presence sucks, okay? If I Google your name, I won't know what you do or who you are, okay? And I'm not talking to those that don't have this issue, but most realtors that I coach, that come to Uncle Nolly for coaching, that's the situation. I Google their name, can't find out who they are. You know what I actually do? I Google their phone number. And that tells me, you know, so basically you can, um, being famous doesn't mean that you have to be arrogant, haughty, facetious, or proud, or any of that snooty. Jesus was very famous, was he not? Still is. And was he any of those things? No, but people know who he is. By the way, Jesus got a crazy downline, y'all. You seen it? <laughs> Woo, boy, he only went 12 wide. He didn't know about the 40 thing back then. He went 12 wide and billions deep. Woo! All right, so become famous. Don't be afraid of who you are. Let yourself shine. Give yourself permission to be seen. It's the little you in you that wants to be, remain little. Uh, we don't want it. That's like shyness. When I, was, when I was a kid, I was shy. I was a shy kid. Uh, uh. And that, that really is, um, you got to let that go. Give yourself permission to shine. Okay? In fact, um, I always ask people, I say, who was the light of the world? Anybody in scripture, what was, who was the light of the world? What was mentioned? Jesus. Most people think it's Jesus, but Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Oh, Jesus was the light. Jesus said, no, I ain't the, you are the light of the world. Go back and read it. You got to let your light shine. Okay? Don't be afraid to be you. I got a lot of stuff in here. I got a whole chapter on how to become famous. Uh, it's not that hard to do. Number five, upgrade your teachability index. This is very important for you guys. It's the last one I'm going to give you. You, you. you should desire to upgrade your teachability index. And what is your teachability? Because many of you um, need to become more teachable. How many of you just during this class have gotten a, 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 um, the idea or the concept that maybe you don't know as much as you thought you did? All right? Anybody? Yeah? So the teachability index is this. What is your willingness to learn on a scale of 1 to 10? And what is your willingness to accept change? Now, willingness to learn. That's like, hey, you, you get in and you really learn. You really dig in and you, you're willing to learn new material, new stuff, stuff you don't know. Stuff you don't even know you need to learn to be successful. The, the, biggest, the biggest reason why a lot of people don't have success is because they have success blocks that are subconsciously embedded within them and they don't even know they're there. Okay, they have like a barometer. And every time they get past that barometer, it's like, boy, you, girl, you're making too much money. Get back down here, right? Does that make sense? So let's look at your teachability index. Write, write this down. This is the exercise we're going to do together. Um, what is your willingness to learn? A scale of 1 to 10. Write it down. What is your willingness to learn? My willingness to learn is a what? And then what's your willingness to accept change? Change might be, hey, you're willing to accept change. The universe comes in and says, you're going to Chicago. Oh, no, no, I ain't going to Chicago. See, the willingness to accept change is being willing to do whatever it takes. Being willing to do what? Whatever, whatever it takes. It says, hey, we got something for you, but you're going to Chicago. No, I, I'm not going to put a 10 on it, right? So whatever it is, it is. Don't worry about what the number is. It's, that's what it is. So what is your willingness to learn and what is your willingness to accept change? 
Anybody want to volunteer? This is a safe room. <laughs> we ain't going to tell on you. Seven to learn, four to change. Seven to learn, four to change. Same thing. Woo! The same. <laughs> Seven to learn, four to change. All right. Good. Okay, good, good. So she, now she's a nine and a six. All right, that's good. It, it, and it, it, it can, this is a choice. It can go up or down by choice. Anybody else? We'll take one more. I got a willingness to learn at a six and accept change at an eight. Okay, willingness to learn at a six to accept change at an eight. Okay, now here's, here's where this gets funny, fun. Um, when you have a hundred, that's when the student is ready. Okay, a hundred. Now, all you have to do is take the first number and times it by the second number. Okay, what do you get? I know, I know yours right there is a 20, 28. You have a 28% teachability index. Okay, um, even if you have a nine and a nine, you got an 81% teach, you're 81% teachable. Okay, so the thing is, when you're teaching, by the way, you can still learn and upgrade and improve at any level. It doesn't matter, okay? But if you want your ultimate greatness, that for which God created you, you want to live the epoch, the zenith, the height, the highest height of who, you, now some of y'all are like, man, I ain't trying to go that far. I'm good, you know, All right? So, so uh, that's what your teachability index. So you want to work on bringing your teachability index up. Okay, 100% is, I, truthfully, I've never seen it, but that, that would be the full teachability index there. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of the masters will not even teach a student until their teachability index. Like the people that taught Bruce Lee, his masters, they wouldn't, I mean, he had to have, and he, would, he, he was so far out. Bruce Lee would, would uh, work out, uh, he, would, he would train uh, over 10 hours a day, every day. Seven days a week, 365. He did that for, um, I think he did that for seven years straight or something like that, till he died. He probably died from overtraining is what, he, what it was. I mean, he's over, I mean, he was, uh, anyway, there, you can take it too far. Does that make sense? Because we want you to live life too. So if you want to continue the journey, don't forget I got these two books out there, Triple My Listings. This is 27 Marketing Ideas for Free Seller Leads. And then Success with Listings is really just me telling you from A to Z, there's a 46 steps listing system that I follow. What is every step and how do you do every step? Okay, that's what that book is.